Hi guys, today I have a pretty exciting video for you. If you didn't already know, I'm part of the Kiki K Planners Insiders team. I announced this on my Instagram about a month or so ago. And since then, some of you may have noticed if you're signed up to the Kiki K Planners email newsletter, you might have seen some of the other members of the team. Last week, I received a package in the mail and inside were these. I've been sent these to share with you. They aren't yet available, whilst I'm filming this video like at this moment in time they're not available on the website but they will be coming soon so if when I post this video they are available I will leave the links below to everything that I share on this video all of these are from their new oh so lovely collection I haven't opened these up properly and had a proper look at them I have opened this box and had a little peek but I haven't gone through the actual planner so yeah I'm really looking forward to sharing them with you this video is going to be more of a first look at everything I will definitely do a separate video on this planner going through it like in detail and possibly this one as well I don't know whether the insides are different to what Kiki K have done before but yeah it might be handy to do a kind of flip through of this planner as well so if you want to see that then keep an eye out for my future videos this one is more of an overview of everything they've sent me and yeah, I'm really excited. If you've come across this video through the Kiki K email, hi, I'm Daisy. I am also known as My Green Cow on YouTube and various other places on the internet. I don't do planner specific videos, but I do kind of stationary craft journaling bit of everything really but planning videos were one of the first videos I posted on my channel so if you do want to stick around and see what I get up to then feel free to subscribe but if you're just here to see this video then I'm gonna get on with it right now for you so first of all they sent me this beautiful pen it is a biro one of their biro pens it writes in black ink I love the Kiki K gel pens most but the biros are really really good quality the pen itself is white with rose gold or copper <laughs> dots. So that's the pen. They also sent me these sticky notes that I haven't actually opened yet because it had a little seal on it so I thought I'd save it for this video. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive sticky note user in my planner. I tend to use sticky notes in my journals more than anything. So over here this one says to do and it's kind of a long sticky note. In the middle we have one that says today and then we have some little tabs and then at the end there's another really long styled one with grey stripes on. Let me get it out of here. So they come in this little booklet which I think is really lovely. If I am using sticky notes in a planner I tend to take a few of them off the pad and stick them on a dashboard or something in my planner so I've got them with me um, rather than carrying this around but this isn't massive so if you did want to take all of the sticky notes with you you could do I think I'm going to go through this one first and go through this one last because you can kind of see what this one is already whereas this one's still hidden so it's a little more of a surprise so I'm going to save this one till last I am really excited for it though because I don't actually have a planner like this at all in my collection. So this is a spiral bound planner. The planner itself is what I'd call a little chunky planner. It's not massive, it's kind of A5-ish in size. It looks a little bit bigger than A5. I will add as much information as I can get below in the description. So if I've missed anything, have a look down there. There'll be a lot more information for you. It's a hardback planner, so the covers are really nice and sturdy. On the front it says, do what you love, and that's in the same rose goldy copper as these. As I said at the beginning, I'm not going to go through like from front to back in this video, but I'm definitely going to do another video on this. So the colour scheme inside is a kind of mint green and grey. It reminds me of the mindful planner, mindfulness planner that they came out with, which was a leather planner, and the colour scheme of that was mint and grey, and I absolutely loved that. I have used a type of spiral bound planner in the past, and I did really enjoy using it. The only reason I moved out of it was because I got a different <laughs> planner, and I just wanted to try that one. So this is a 2018 and 2019 planner. So it has the rest of this year, and then it has from, obviously, January to December of 2019. I do like how halfway through the planner it changes colour scheme, so you have all the mint colours at the start and then it goes into this grey colour scheme. Here's a quick little flip through so you can get an idea of what the pages are like. Each divider seems to have a little pattern on it which is really pretty. At first glance the boxes and the space you have to write is quite quite big and also a perk for me is that Saturday and Sunday have the same amount of space as the rest of the days of the week which doesn't always happen in planner inserts and it's kind of frustrating because <laughs> um, personally being self-employed I do a lot of my work at the weekend so yeah that's kind of a little flip through of that planner so this planner 
Like I said, I don't have one like this in my collection. This is the large leather personal planner. So that means that the pages inside the inserts will be undated. So this is what I saw when I first opened it. And then I saw this at the top and was like, oh. Oh my goodness. I don't own any zipped planners. I've always, always wanted to try out a zip planner. So when I saw that they'd sent me a zipped planner, I was so excited. Let me take this off. Ooh. Would you just look at that? As a lot of you guys know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that I love colour. I tend to go towards the brighter colours when it comes to stationery and stuff. For example, I'm currently using my yellow Kiki K which has the stripes on the inside. That's my kind of like default when I go into a shop or something. I am drawn to the colourful stuff. But what you might not know is on the other end of that, I tend to be, if I'm not drawn to like the bright colours, I'm drawn to the more blacks, whites and greys. I don't know what that says about me, <laughs> um, but I tend to not go for the more kind of neutral colours. It's either the kind of monochrome or bright bright bright. So when I saw this I was like oh my goodness. So I have had a tiny peek inside of this just from unzipping the top and having a little nosy in but I zipped it back up and thought I'd save the rest for <laughs> when I do this video. So this is one of their large planners which is A5 sized inserts. I've only recently gone back to personal size planning. Before that I used to live in my A5 planners. The only reason I think I've gone back to that is just the convenience of being able to bung it in my bag. So the difference between the Kiki K personal planners and the Kiki K time planners is the time planners are dated and the personal planners aren't. So I could if I wanted to use both of these together um, completely depends on how I'm feeling when it gets around to July when I can use this as to if I want to stay in a, I keep saying personal size but it's the Kiki K medium. They do their sizes a bit differently to everyone else in the planning world. So the Kiki K large is the equivalent of an A5 size, the Kiki K medium is the equivalent of a personal size and the Kiki K small is the equivalent of a pocket size planner. So in regards to the size of the inserts, this one takes A5 inserts, my yellow medium takes personal size inserts and yeah the small takes pocket size. So this planner is completely grey but the dots are only on the front cover and on the spine. At the bottom here it has the Kiki K logo and then obviously the zip going all the way around is rose gold and it's so pretty. Inside the thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that the rings on this planner are white. I haven't seen a planner with white rings before, but I really, really like this. I think it's such a nice contrast to the classic like gold or silver or rose gold, like something metallic. Over here is the kind of classic setup of the Kiki K planners. So you have three little pockets there. There's the to-do list pad. You have a bigger pocket and then you have the zip. And then you also have another pocket back here as well. The colour scheme of the inserts is very similar to spiral bound planner. I'm going to go through the inserts and like the general what this planner has in a separate video. The only thing that I've always been unsure about with a zipped planner is the fact that they don't lie massively flat on a desk but I don't know if it's because this is a bigger planner to the ones that I've seen but it seems to be lying quite flat and that's without like any forcing or trying to teach it to lie flat so I do reckon with a bit of using this and time and stuff it might lie a lot flatter than I originally thought. So yeah, that's the zipped planner they have sent me, which is so pretty. I feel like this leather is a lot shinier than some of the other ones that I have. I do have a lot of the textured Kiki K's, which has like the cross hatching on it. And I have a couple which are a softer leather. But this one just, I don't know, it seems different to my other ones, which I do quite like because it looks a lot more durable. I'm always worried about the soft leather planners, about getting them scratched and stuff. But this one with the kind of gloss just makes it look a lot more like I could chuck it in my bag if I wanted to and take it somewhere and it it's it might not get scratched. <laughs> um, so those are the two planners that Kiki K sent me and then obviously the little sticky note booklet and the pen. If you do have any questions on anything that I've shown you or just in general, then leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.